Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for a while, but today I have a delicious gluten-free lemon pound cake recipe for you guys. So the first thing you want to do is to your stand mixer, you're going to add 1 and 1 fourth cups of granulated sugar. And then to that you're going to add 2 tablespoons of lemon zest and 1 fourth cup of lemon juice. Start mixing and then gradually add 3 eggs, 2 thirds cup of buttermilk or leaven, and then a half cup of vegetable oil. Now you're going to add your dry ingredients, so that's 2 cups of gluten-free flour, 1 teaspoon of xanthan gum, 2 teaspoons of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of baking soda, or bicarbonate of soda, whatever you guys call it. Lastly, a pinch of salt. Now gradually add it into your wet ingredients until it's fully incorporated, but do not overmix. That's how you ruin the whole cake. It should look like this. Now take some parchment paper and line your baking tray and then pour the batter into the tray and put it into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius for around 40 to 45 minutes. You can of course stick a toothpick to see that it's fully cooked and if it comes out clean that means it is ready to come out of the oven. Do not over bake it, it will be dry and do not under bake it because you do not want to eat raw cake. Place the cake on top of this flat dish to make it easier for me to pour the icing. And the icing is the best part of this recipe, trust me guys, you really need to make this icing. Do not have this cake without the icing because you're missing out. So it just needs two ingredients and that is one and two thirds cup of icing sugar and then three tablespoons of lemon juice. I then add a little bit more lemon juice. It depends on the consistency that you want your icing to be. I like it a bit on the thinner side just to make it easier to pour. And don't let your icing sit out for too long because it's gonna start getting so much thicker and you won't be able to pour it on top of the cake easily. So as soon as you mix and it's fully incorporated, immediately pour it on the cake and just watch the magic happen. Now cut yourself a slice and I'm telling you guys the crust is the best because it has extra icing. So yeah, that is it for the recipe, a delicious lemon pound cake that happens to be gluten free. Hope you guys try this out and if you do, send me some pictures on Instagram. I will leave my links down below in the bio and I'd really love to see how you guys recreate this recipe. If you want to know which flowers I use, I will leave the exact ones in the description. Thank you again. See you next time.